So the Digico S21, S31. Um, the neat thing about an S2131 is it's the same audio engine as our larger desks, like the desks that are at the Hollywood Bowl, um, touring with uh, Coldplay, U2, uh, Beyonce. Um, all the, you know, most of the major tours have um, SD series consoles on them. Um, what they need, what they wanted to do, create, and it's their philosophy from every desk so far is that no one should suffer with bad sound or, or compromised sound, no matter what size desk that you're on. And it applies here. So by using a, an FPGA based, so it's not specifically a computer based, it's a purpose developed engine in here that gives you a floating technology, floating point technology engine. Now, the neat thing about that is that it offers high dynamic range, which is what music is, is high dynamic range. So it uses the same faders as a $100,000 console. It uses the same mic pre's as in the $300,000 console and the same audio processing approach as those desks in a system that is really more touch based. So that where they save money is by going touch screens as the, as the main interface. You have, um, what's also neat about it is uh, this desk has more input and output than uh, our other desks do because we figured that maybe this is landing where you already have an analog desk or where you already have a cop copper infrastructure. Your snake's already there, so you can plug right into the desk right here. So it has 24 in and 12 out just sitting on the desk. Now this desk talks to all the same preamps and racks that our biggest desks, our touring desks do too. So you're not suffering from inferior mic pre's or uh, you know, some substandard approach into this thing. It's exactly the same uh, mic, mic pre A to D infrastructure that's available on all the other ones. And it offers the same feature set. So the way that this guy goes, I'm gonna bring him in here a little bit, is that it, it it works in a way that you see your 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 front to back all inside the desk here. So when you pick a channel, it'll bring up a different a whole ch series of events. So every desk has a built-in compressor, gate, um, E four band EQ, all touch, right right there from the screen. It's very fast, very easy, very intuitive. Um, we have a lot of guys that are on tour with these using them as their monitor system. It does uh, flip fader mode. It acts like all like all of our big desks, just in a smaller format. Allows you to get that same quality of sound in this smaller format. Now, if you like faders, we have an S31, which will give you one more screen and 10 more faders. And sometimes that's just all the better. So if you've got that much more room, that's a great desk to have because it'll just give you more, more um, handles, more handles to do your mixes off of. What's well, really neat. So basically in this format, format, it does 48 in and it does 16 out. Any channel can be mono or stereo, which is nice flexibility. Everything changes on the fly. We have guys going out and they're using it as their monitor desk. They're hooking up with a larger desk and one may be at, be at house, one could be at monitors. Again, and then it's also got a, a thing called a UB Maddie, which is a built in 48 channel recorder, which is the neat thing about that is if you want to record and you want to do 48 channels, it allows you to do run your whole system at 96 K. This this system will uh, it'll record at 48. You can play it back, back and forth, and it'll do all auto changing right there. And the neat part about that system is, is that you it is instantaneous. You can use a free program like uh, Waves Tracks and record right into your laptop, right with a USB cable, right into the, the setup. Um, it uses it has iPad control. It has offline editors, so you can do all your work ahead of time before you even pull it out of the case. Okay, now the back of the S21 is kind of cool because it's this is the neat new part of it. So we have these things and right now I've got it outfitted with, uh, with a couple of things. So we've got an Avion card in it, or um, this is Matty, um, a Matty over BNC. We have Matty C, we have Dante, we've got 
whatever they decide to come up with next year, we'll have a card for that too, I'm sure. Um, uh, it, so it's kind of like a built-in digital translator of sorts that's built into this box. It came from something else that they had built called an orange box. But what's neat is you can bring in this audio and then drop it to, an, to a Dante card and send that to someplace else. So if you have some other console or some other software that, that wants to read Dante or AS67, or like I said, whatever format comes out next, uh, this desk will translate it and spit it out down the road to something else. You may have a Dante recorder, you may have some AES recorder, you may have a Matty recorder, it'll do any of that stuff. That's kind of neat. We also have this thing called the UV Matty, and the UV Matty is a 48 channel record. It comes up on the front part of the screen. It basically allows you to just record automatically any channels that you got coming into the desk onto your laptop or stationary computer or, or the like and then brings it right back into it and then uh, on here is your 24 inputs and 12 outputs that you have native to it a couple of AES you got a little clock and then you got um, I think a GPI GPO it's a way of adding a foot switch there to you so if you want to you want to put your tap delay there on your foot you could do that so the neat, one neat feature about the way that the S21 lays out is it uses the, a lot of the features that, they, that we have in our most popular desks, which is like the ST12 and ST5, ST7, which are large touring desks, mostly. But it has the feature that um, we call hidden to lit. So right now, in an input mode, all my encoders are blue. But if I grab an auxiliary and I touch it and hold it instantly, well, that's a, that's a compressor, compressor mode. If I touch a, an aux here, everything will turn purple and follow. If I come over and I decide that I want to use an equalizer, all the equalizer colors match. So if I touch this, all those colors turn red. Right now I've got a blinky light, which is my tap tempo, and that can go away or come back up. So the surface follows your, your, your actions with with colors that match what you're working on so if i want to set my input gain all my encoders turn red and follow it also gives me what my digital inputs might be and it changes colors to match those if i were to go into that compressor like i said and touch it right here right here and it would pop up i hit turn it on it turns red all my encoders go red for the feature that i'm working on so it's kind of a neat, it's a neat feature. The, the flow of the desk operates just like the big guys in the fact that all the, the color schemes match and follow. And like if I was going into my oxes, it lets me know what mode I'm in and follows everything that I'm doing.